What is up, family? Anthony here yet again with another Consuming Fire Ministry video. Today, we're going to be talking about building a strong foundation. Second Peter is a letter written by Peter, one of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ to the early Christian church. In this letter, Peter writes to encourage Christians to grow in their faith and to remind them of the importance of staying true to their beliefs. One of the key passages in this letter is found in chapter one, verses five through eight. In these verses, Peter describes a process by which Christians can grow their faith and become more like Christ. This process, he says, involves several key virtues, including faith, goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. We will examine these virtues in more detail and explore how we can use Peter's teachings to guide our lives today. Let's get into it. Peter begins this section of his letter by calling on Christians to make every effort to add to their faith. This is a call to action, a call to do more than just profess faith in Christ, but to actively seek ways to strengthen that faith. Peter then identifies several virtues that he believes are essential to growth of that faith. These virtues are goodness. This refers to a moral excellence or virtue that is demonstrated in our actions toward others. Peter is encouraging us to do good works for the sake of others in imitation of Christ. Knowledge. This refers to a deep understanding of God's word and will for our lives. Peter is urging us to study and learn from the Bible so that we can better understand God's plans and purposes. Self-control. This refers to the ability to control our thoughts, words, and actions, even in the face of temptation and adversity. Peter is calling us to resist the urge of our flesh and to remain steadfast in our faith. Perseverance. This refers to the ability to keep going even when things are difficult or when we face opposition or persecution. Peter is encouraging us to remain committed to our faith even under difficult circumstances. Godliness. This refers to a quality of being godly or devout. Peter is calling us to cultivate a deep and abiding reverence for God and to seek to honor Him in all that we do. Brotherly kindness. This refers to a spirit of kindness and generosity towards others, especially fellow Christians. Peter is calling us to be compassionate and caring towards others, to love others as Christ has loved us. Love. This refers to the kind of love that Christ has shown towards us, a sacrificial love that seeks the best for others. Peter is reminding us that love is the greatest of all virtues and that it should be the foundation of our relationships. These virtues that Peter describes in this passage are not just abstract concepts, but are meant to be lived out in our daily lives. If we want to grow in our faith and become more like Christ, we must actively seek to cultivate these virtues in our lives. But how do we do this? Here are a few practical steps that we can take. Number one, study the Bible regularly. One of the best ways to develop knowledge and godliness is to regularly study the Bible. This can be done through regular reading and study as well as through attending Bible studies and classes. As we learn more about God's word, we will gain a deeper understanding of his plans and purposes, and we will be better equipped to live out our faith in our daily lives. Two, 
pray for guidance and strength. Self-control, perseverance, and brotherly kindness all require strength and guidance from God. When we feel ourselves struggling with these virtues, we should turn to God in prayer, asking for His help and guidance. As we rely on Him, we will find the strength we need to resist temptation and to love and serve others. 3. Serve others. One of the best ways to demonstrate goodness and brotherly kindness is to serve others. This can be done through volunteering at a local charity, helping a neighbor in need, or simply taking the time to listen to someone who needs a listening ear. As we serve others, we will demonstrate the love of Christ and be a blessing to those around us. 4. Seek fellowship with other believers. Finally, we should seek fellowship with other believers who can encourage and support us in our journey of faith. By surrounding ourselves with other Christians, we share our values and beliefs. We will be better able to persevere in our faith and to grow in love and kindness toward others. In conclusion, Peter's teachings in 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 5 through 8 remind us that if we want to grow in our faith and become more like Christ, we must actively cultivate certain virtues in our lives by developing goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. We will become the kind of people that God desires us to be. This will not only benefit us personally, but it will also benefit those around us as we demonstrate the love and grace of Christ to a hurting world. May we all seek to live out these virtues in our daily lives, guided by the wisdom and power of the Holy Spirit. This sermon today is going to equip you to prepare you for ministry because although we do have to live a lifestyle holy to God, we still have to go out and do what God's called us to do. We all have been called to minister God's word in one way or another, and these virtues are very vital to get us to do it effectively. Today, I pray that this message blessed you. And if it did, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any prayer requests, any comments, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for all the prayer requests that we have gotten and we're praying for you and believing God on your behalves. Also, if you have not liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and always remember, these virtues that Peter gives us are very important to us as Christians. Stay strong, stay faithful, and don't give up. God bless.